Here's another example. This is a study by uh, George Lowenstein and colleagues who are behavioral economists. Um, here they did a really fun experiment. They asked participants to pick a celebrity, so pick a celebrity, and they said, how much would you pay to kiss the celebrity if the kiss was delivered immediately in one day in three days in one year in 10 years? And what they found was that people were willing to pay the most not to get the kiss immediately, but to get the kiss in three days. In other, way, in other words, they were willing to pay in order to wait. Now, they didn't want to wait 10 years. No one wanted an elderly celebrity. But three days was the optimal amount. Why is that? Well, if you get the kiss now, it's over and done with. If you get the kiss in three days, there's anticipation of the wait, right? The frill. And people wanted that. Now, you may remember that before I told you immediate rewards are really important, right? And people have temporal discounting, so what's going on? Well, it turns out that when the uh, product is something that you can imagine, an event, like going out for a concert, for a dinner, a vacation, the imagination in and of itself is the immediate reward. So that's the first reward, and then the event itself is a second reward.